Hello and welcome to another CarFix video from CarFix where I do what I love and I love what I do. In today's video we're going to be replacing a, an alternator on a 2014 Acura MDX. Uh, this Acura has a 3.5 uh, liter engine and uh, as you can see the alternator is way down in there. You can even see it. Let me see if you can see it from there. It's right there. So what we need to do first we need to disconnect the battery um, and remove the uh, cooling fan shroud right here and uh, probably I'm going to have to move this cross member on the top right there just to move the uh, uh, the radiator and condenser forward a little bit so I can have enough clearance to remove the uh, the alternator all right first we're going to have to move this um, air intake right here snorkel right there because the battery is located underneath that it's just got plastic clips right here and this whole thing should come out. All right, now I got the uh, this plastic, you know, these uh, plastic covers off. Now I gotta disconnect the battery. Uh, this battery, uh, I'm replacing this battery anyways because it's it's corroded and it looks like it's leaking. So yeah. All right, to make life uh, much easier, I'm going to have to remove this cross member right here. Uh, this is the radiator uh, uh, support or the bracket that holds the radiator in place. Uh, got the hood latch right there. Uh, once I remove this cross member or this uh, uh, top cross member right here, uh, it will be easier to remove the, uh, the cooling fans. Uh, now, before removing this cross member right here, uh, you need to uh, disattach the uh, uh, the wiring harness from it, which is it's got these plastic clips on it, like five of them or six of them. And also, you need to unplug the uh, uh, the hood latch, which is where is it? It's right here. The hood latch has to be unplugged, and then you can remove the the whole thing. Uh, I'm going to try to do it without removing the, uh, the hood latch and just, you know, uh, unbolt it and move it to the side. Alright, you got to be careful when you're removing this cross member right here. Uh, those bolts can, uh, can be frozen and they might actually snap inside the, uh, the body. So, uh, you know, just be careful. Uh, this bolt right here, uh, you cannot put a socket on it, so I'm using a, a 10 millimeter box wrench right here just to break it loose. That's on both sides. Now one more thing, the cross member has three bolts in the front and it has one bolt in the back which is right there. That's on both sides. You got one here. And you have one here. So, yeah. Alright, now I got all the bolts out. Uh, all I have to do now is just lift the cross member. You notice I did not remove the uh, hood latch. I'm just going to leave it attached. I'm just moving this to the side. Just to give me enough room to work with. See? And uh, everything is right there. Now I have to remove the, the cooling fans. I'm going to try not to disconnect the, uh, the upper radiator hose. Just I don't want to open the, the cooling system. Because that's, that creates more work. And the alternator is right here. Alright, now before uh, removing the, uh, the cooling fans, you need to unplug them. Which is, you got one plug here. Another one here. And there's another one here. And also they have these uh, plastic uh, clips that actually holds the, the wiring harness to the, to the cooling fan shroud. You got one here, one here, and I think that's it. And um, six millimeter bolts, one, two, three, and four. I don't think these cooling fans have bolts on the bottom. They have slots on the bottom and uh, they're bolted on the top right here. All right, now I got this, uh, uh, the right cooling fan off, uh, or loose. Uh, uh, I'm gonna try not to remove the, uh, the left one because the alternator is right here. Um, and also, the, uh, the, I got the both bolts out and all we gotta do is pull it out and it should come right out. All right, now we have enough room for the alternator to come out, but I need to uh, disconnect the, the battery cable right here under this uh, rubber grommet right there, the rubber cover. Uh, disconnect the uh, the AC compressor uh, connector and the alternator, and also there's a bolt right here for the wiring harness. I gotta remove that. 
and uh, this uh, bracket for the AC uh, low pressure uh, line has to be removed too. Alright, now I got the, uh, the battery cable to the alternator disconnected. All the connectors are, uh, you know, out from the alternator and the AC compressor. And also, you have this uh, uh, harness clip right here that goes into the uh, alternator. You gotta remove that too. And basically, the nest bolt right, right there that holds the harness right there. So the whole harness is actually loose now. I can move it out of my way so I can have more room to work with. Just like that. Right there. Now this AC line uh, bracket is uh, bolted to the alternator. This right here is uh, the bracket for the alternator to the engine block. So we got one bolt right there and there's another bolt right there. Uh, they're both 8 millimeter bolts. I think uh, it's either 14 uh, millimeter socket or 12 millimeter socket. I think it's 12. Uh, this what this bracket has to be loose in order, in order for the or has to be removed in order for the alternator to come out and also it has another uh, bolt on the bottom um, uh, but before I uh, loosen the alternator I gotta remove the the drive belt all right to gain access to the drive belt I, I have to remove the, uh, the right front wheel and uh, some plastic covers uh, behind it all right uh, I got the uh, plastic clip on on this side right here and there's one here and uh, you have a uh, where is it uh, Phillips screwdriver right here 10 millimeter bolt or six millimeter bolt I'm sorry and you have those right here and this will be moved to the side all right now I got the cover out of the way now uh, those bolts right here got one here and one here they're just frozen I mean uh, actually damaged the plastic you know because uh, the rust is really bad but anyways uh, here's the drive belt right here here's the automatic tensioner this tensioner has a, a, a shock on it right there and uh, I think this is a 19 millimeter 17 millimeter right there and you have to go easy with that one also I have access to uh, repair information so I can look up the uh, belt routing on this car uh, but if you don't uh, you might want to draw a, um, uh, a belt routing diagram so this way when you install the the belt back on uh, you know uh, you know install it you install it correctly but the pull I have on the tensioner right here is a 17 millimeter deep ball socket and it goes right there and uh, you, you go down and it should actually uh, take the tension off of the belt and this way you can remove it. All right, now I got the belt off. Now I don't know if you can see the uh, lower bolt for the alternator right there. It's behind the tensioner right here, so this automatic tensioner has to be removed. Uh, also, I think this tensioner is kind of weak a little bit. Uh, doesn't have much resistance on it, so I'm going to replace it anyways. To remove the, the tensioner, you got the center bolt right there and this bolt right here. And the tension should come out. To remove the tensioner, the, the lower bolt right here is an 8 millimeter with uh, uh, 12 millimeter uh, socket and the center bolt right here is uh, 8 millimeter hex head right here should fit right right in there all right now I got this bolt loose right there and the bottom the bottom bolt is out Let me just take the whole thing out there we go all right now this bolt right here uh, is the alternator hold down bolt the lower one uh, the size of this is I think it's 14 millimeter so I'm gonna break this one loose then go back to the top uh, and uh, take the bracket off all right uh, I got the lower bolt out right here so it goes like this it comes out like that so it goes in like this and it comes out like that so I'm going to lower the car down and uh, remove the, uh, the upper two bolts. Alright, now for the uh, for the top two bolts right there, for the uh, alternator. Let me see if you can see it from here. Uh, we've got two bolts. Uh, this one, and there's another one right here. This one is a, a 12 millimeter socket, uh, but the bottom one right here is a uh, 6 millimeter hex head bolt. Now what I have here is uh, 
a long six millimeter hex hex socket right here now it will not fit uh, so what I have to do I have to remove the uh, the overflow uh, bottle for the cooling system right here all you gotta do is just, just pull it up which is right here it's got a slot right here that fits into that uh, plate right there see how I have my ratchet on it this long ratchet right there on the uh, on the bolt now the cooling bottle actually fits right there in that, in that, in that gap right there Uh, here's the bolt after I got it out <coughs> up there and uh, the AC bracket is loose and this bracket is loose all I gotta do now is just remove that bolt right there and uh, take the alternator out all right now I have the bracket out right here and that's the alternator right there now I have to pry on the uh, on the alternator a little bit to get it out of the bracket, and it's it's completely out right there. All right, now uh, I got the new alternator right here, uh, and I have to match it up with the old one, make sure everything is correct. You know the uh, the stud for the battery cable and also the connector right there, and also you need to check the uh, decoupler on the new alternator, make sure it's it's working correctly. Yeah, everything looks looks good. So, yeah. All right, this is the lower mounting uh, bracket for the alternator. Uh, there's a spacer right here. Uh, remember how the old alternator was hard to, uh, to to get out? I had to pry on it. Now I need to push this spacer out to it this way. Now uh, to do that, I'm gonna have to make a special tool for it. All right, this is my special tool right here. It's an 18 millimeter socket, uh, uh, 12 point. Uh, with a, a nut and a washer on one side. So what you need to do, uh, you need to use uh, uh, two uh, box end wrenches and uh, just, you know, crank the nut uh, down and it should push that spacer outward, uh, you know, through the hole into the, uh, to the socket. Uh, I would like to make it flush with the bracket. This way the alternator, the new alternator will be installed easier. Alright, now you can see the, the spacer is pushed out right there and uh, the, the alternator will be installed uh, much easier this way. Also, I've used an 18 millimeter socket. Uh, it was a little snug, so I had to, you know, hit a couple times to get it off of the, uh, the spacer. Uh, you can use a 19 millimeter socket instead of 18. All right, now I have the, the lower bolt, uh, you know, installed through the hole, through the alternator, and the alternator is just hanging there. So uh, that's why I had to push that spacer out to make it easier to install the alternator. Now I gotta put the, uh, the top bolt right here in the bracket and uh, torque everything down all right you now this is the, the bracket right there this is the uh, uh, six millimeter hex bolt uh, head uh, you know that goes through the opening to the bracket this bracket right here has got a hole right here so you gotta have to move the, the whole alternator to make it lined up with the with the engine right there All right, now uh, I got the the top bolts uh, snugged in and uh, the bottom one uh, snugged in too. Uh, I need to torque the lower one first to 33 foot pounds and uh, these two bolts right here 16 foot pound. So 33 foot pound. All right, that's 33 foot pound right there. Right, now, before installing any of the, uh, the the wires or the harnesses or the cables, uh, I need to install the, uh, the the belt tensioner and the uh, uh, the uh, drive belt. Here we have the uh, new uh, automatic belt tensioner right here. Uh, this bolt right here is 41 foot pounds, and the lower one right here is 18 foot pounds. And make sure everything spins freely, and you should be okay. All right, one more thing. Uh, I don't know if you remember the uh, the video of the old tensioner. It was kind of weak. This one is more stiffer. So that's why I replaced it because it, it felt very weak to me. So 
Okay, now I, I have the, uh, the drive belt installed, everything looks good. Uh, now I'm almost done, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, I'm down here, so I'm gonna go back up there and, uh, you know, connect the, the cables, wire harnesses, and, uh, you know, uh, put the uh, cooling fan back in there and uh, finish the job. All right, now I have the, the harness bolt uh, back in place, uh, and also do not uh, don't forget to put this bracket uh, on the uh, on the upper alternator bolt right there. Uh, this nut for the uh, battery cable that goes to the alternator, uh, you're not supposed to over torque it. If you do, you will break it. Uh, the torque specs on this one is 108 inch pound. Okay. That's it. That's all it takes. If you over torque this, you're gonna damage the alternator. All right. When installing the, the cooling fan, I make sure it's in the uh, the slots on the bottom right there. So nice and tight, so it won't come loose. All right. Now I got the alternator installed and everything is in place. Uh, the car is running. The engine is running, and it's charging. Uh, 14 and a half almost. This is the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, any comments, please, please leave them in the comment section below. And uh, from, from now until the next Car Fix video, thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.